guys. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my five favorite ovulation detection tools. Number one is a basal body thermometer. I love my BBT. This is the only way for sure that you're going to know if you actually ovulated. Other things will tell you that you are surging, that you had an LH surge, but you could have had a follicle that was getting ready to rupture and then decided not to. And maybe a few days later, another follicle will mature and rupture then. But if you only did your OPKs and you got your positive and you had sex and then you stopped, you may well miss your window. This will show you whether or not you actually ovulated. The only other way you're gonna see it is by ultrasound. So this is something that you can do in your own home. I will explain more about temping and how to chart and how to do your temps in another video and I will post it up here so you can see it. But I think no matter what ovulation tool you use to try to detect your ovulation, you should be temping anyway because this will tell you for sure that you ovulated. Number two, saliva microscope. I love my saliva microscope. So what you do is first thing in the morning, when you wake up, very first thing you're gonna do is take your temp, right? Because you're temping, because you really wanna know for sure if you ovulated. The second thing you do is use your ovulation microscope. Now it looks like a little lipstick tube, very discreet, not that it matters, you're not putting anything gross on there, you're just putting saliva on there. Um, you take off the lid and you pull straight up on the lens. You don't want to tr twist it. If you unscrew it, you will literally unscrew the lens from this bottom part and you're going to lose things and break things. Don't do that. Pull straight up. You'll put a dot of saliva on there and wait for it to dry. And then you put it in there and there's a button on the bottom that shines a green light through and you look and you check the pattern. What it does is it takes the salt in your saliva and it crystallizes it. So when it dries, what you're left with, all the moisture has evaporated off or dried out, and you're left with little salt crystals. So you look in it, and what you're looking for is a ferning pattern. So from the salt crystals will come ferns, like plants. And when it's ferning, that's when you're at your most fertile. Um, this saliva microscope is from Fairhaven. I'll leave a link to it below if you want to try it out. So I have PCOS, and this has never let me down on knowing exactly when I'm about to ovulate. Um, again, you don't know if you ovulated for sure, but this is a great tool because with PCOS, OPKs don't always work. So I like a saliva microscope because it gives me a better reading of what's actually happening in my body. Number three, OPKs. OPKs come in all shapes and sizes. This is a test strip. They also come in cassettes. They also come in midstreams. I recommend peeing in a cup, collecting your specimen in a cup, um, and testing that way. Um, because the majority of them, especially the cheap ones, if you want to buy them in bulk, um, are test strips and you need to dip them anyway. But even if you, what you use is midstreams, it's nice to have that sample there in case you want to do another test. So you don't have to wait again until you have to pee. Um, I am also going to do a video on how to do OPKs and tips and tricks on OPKs. So that will be up here as well. Number four, a fertility monitor. This is my OvaQ. This is super cool because it works not just if you have a regular cycle, but even if you have long cycles and PCOS. It's not necessarily looking for a hormone, it's checking your electrolytes. So it has an oral sensor that goes in your mouth that checks your electrolytes, and then it also has a vaginal sensor that checks the electrolytes in your cervical mucus. So this is very cool, and the more you use it, the more you can track patterns and what the electrolytes in your body are doing. So I like the fact that this is a one-time fee. Um, this product that I have was $3.99 and it comes with the two monitor or the two devices, the oral sensor and the vaginal sensor and a cord that connects this to your computer. Um, it is battery operated, it is fully colored. So it's a very cool device. Um, I'm very excited to have it. So this one was $3.99, but they also make a mobile version that's $2.99. And that one you can buy for $25 a BBT attachment. So you can have a basal body thermometer that tracks on your devices or well, on your phone as well. So I think that's very cool. And I wish they made that for the monitor because I totally would have bought that. 
but that's okay. So far, I'm really enjoying this, and I'm doing a full review of it soon, and that will be up there as well. And number five, another great way to really know what's going on in your body is to check your cervical position and your cervical mucus. Yes, this does mean touching yourself. You're going to have a baby. Things are going to be happening in that area. Get over any kind of ickiness or insecurity you may have. It is your body. Own it. Um, the majority of your cycle, your cervix is going to be low and firm and closed. But as you are getting ready to ovulate, it's going to move higher up your vagina. Um, I know when I'm really just about to ovulate, when I can barely reach my cervix. So that's always a good sign. Cervical mucus varies from dry to thick to creamy to sticky to watery to egg whitey. Um, and then after you ovulate, it goes back to dry, to creamy, to sticky. Um, your most fertile CM is going to be the watery and the egg white. Um, you can check the toilet paper, but I don't think that gives you a very good read of what's actually happening up by your cervix. I think the easiest way is to insert a finger or two and swipe it around where your cervix is so you can get an idea of exactly what that cervical mucus is looking like. You know, you can tell if it's, you know, creamy, it's going to be kind of a lotion-y texture. It can be white, it can be yellow, it doesn't mean you have any kind of infection. That's just what your body does at that point. The closer you get to being fertile, it's going to get thinner, it's going to get wet, and then when you are right about to ovulate, you're going to get that egg white CM, that kind that you can stretch between your fingers. Um, it looks like egg whites or, you know, snot, but it is very good for sperm. It allows sperm to move easily through the vagina and it really protects it from the acidity of the vagina. If you find that you're not getting into that egg white CM stage and you think that might be part of the problem, they do make sperm friendly lubes. I like Astroglide TTC and of course everyone knows about Preseed. So those are two different sperm friendly lubes that you can use to help supplement when it comes to right before your ovulation to make sure that the sperm is really encased in something protective and it has good things in it that you know sugars and stuff that feed the sperm so they can get to where they need to go and it's nice and slippery so they can move up the vagina and through the cervix into the uterus and find their way up to the fallopian tubes so those are my five favorite ways to track whether or not i have ovulated all right thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below and i will see you guys next time Bye.